Hi all folks, this is Max from DroidRacerRoot.com. So once you have a rooted phone, um, you can back up your apps. Uh, why back up your apps? You can uh, back up your apps and move all your apps to another Android phone later, or maybe um, you install a new ROM later and you can uh, restore all your apps. So to do this, you can get the free app off the market. Um, open up the market. Where's market? Market. And you can get this thing called Titanium Backup. And also there's Titanium Pro, which is like $3.99. Uh, if you back up and restore apps a lot, it's definitely worth it. Um, the Pro app allows you to restore apps with one, uh, one click. Whereas the free version, you have to um, do it one by one, which isn't too bad either. You just use a free version if you're just starting out. So, you start the uh, titanium backup. You'll have to have a rooted Droid Razor, of course. Um, if you don't have a rooted Droid Razor, go to droidrazorroot.com and I have instructions there. Um, I'm gonna actually unroot my phone right after I rooted it, just so I can show people. Uh, and what you will do is go to schedules. If you wanna back up all your apps, it'll back up all your non-system apps. So just hit run. And you can also set it to schedule, but you can just run it, you know, whenever you need to. That's what I that's what I like to do. And then it'll back up my Google Plus and all the apps um, that I've installed after I've got the phone. Uh, which isn't much. It's just like well, it's also backing up non system apps that, you know, Verizon put on there. But you can manually go in there um, and check out which apps have been backed up. Go to backup and restore. And as you can see, I backed up. Like, let's say I don't want Blockbuster after this finishes. Um, I can click on it and delete it also. It's still backing up um, 46%. So I'll be back when this completely backs up. And then I'm going to unroot my phone and uh, basically um, probably going to install. Uh, we're rooted again using Linux um, so I can show Linux and Mac users how to root your phone um, so this is still going I'll be back hi all folks so backup is done it says successfully um, nope. I got it you get a beep uh, batch backup finish so you're all good to go and you can always check out um, titanium backup. You can always check out what's been uh, backed up. Usually, your backed up apps are marked by a um, smiley face. There we go. So you can see set CPU has been backed up. Smiley face. Um, so you can press on each of these, and if you don't want it backed up, and you can choose to. And when you restore it, you can also choose which apps you want to restore. Um, so that's how you back up, um, and I'm going to go uh, unroot it, and then root it, and I'll show you how to. Hi all folks, so once you've got another phone, or um, you've got maybe another Android phone, what you can do is, um, it, Titanium Backup will store it into um, directory um, in your internal storage, I think. Let, let's go look real quick. It should be under, um, well, it might be under SD card actually. It should be a folder, no, not this one. So it's on internal phone storage. So you should have copied over the whole titanium backup folder to your new phone. And then after that, um, install titanium backup again. Sorry, my market is going crazy because I just unrooted and rooted my phone again. Um, go install titanium backup again. And, uh, Basically, we're going to restore all our apps, which isn't much. So, free, install, um, and then I'm going to get the Pro, Pro 2 because it lets me do it in one, one motion. Um, God, what is happening here? So, I'll be back when this stops doing this. So, I think it installed. So, let's go restore all our apps. Um, applications, doo -doo -doo. titanium backup, and hit allow, and okay, and give you that change log. It's kind of annoying. And hit OK. 
Okay. And hit the menu button and hit batch. And you'll get a bunch of options. Um, you can, uh, I, I recommend restore missing apps with data. That will just basically restore any apps um, that's missing on your system uh, with data. Or you can do restore all apps with data. But I'm going to do that one. And you can actually um, choose which one. So I'm just going to select all and run the batch applications. And it will start restoring. Um, for the free version, you'll have to uh, hit install on these. But I got the pro version, which is good because it automatically restores all my apps. And uh, I'm ready to go install new ROMs or um, whatnot. So that's how you do it. Um, restore apps on the go. Uh, when you have rooted phone and you can do use this method like I said you can move over the titanium backup folder to your new phone's SD card or internal storage um, and uh, restore everything and this should complete um, pretty quickly so I've I've rooted my phone using window oh there we go so my backup is finished and I have all my apps that I had before um, as you can see set CPU and Pandora and a bunch of small apps. Anyway, that's how you use a titanium backup to uh, backup restore your apps on a rooted Droid Razor. Check out uh, droidrazorroot.com for more tips and hacks.